Tuesday night was a turning point in the Jew Felix soap drama as the player informed Fabrizio Romano of his intention to sign with FC Barcelona this summer. The most recent and important developments in Joao's conflict with Atletico Madrid are the alarming statements. Following the breakdown of his relationship with Diego Simeone and a loan stint at Chelsea that was so unsatisfactory that the English club refused to buy him, the club's record signing is determined to leave permanently this summer. With an agreement through 2027, Ju has been working out with Atletico ever since preseason play got underway 10 days ago. But since the 23-year-old's return from London, awkward encounters abound, and the dissatisfied forward has yet to receive a call from anyone. He is currently making an effort to engineer one for a club of his choosing. Joao has long been admired in Barcelona. While current president Joan Laporta praised Joao in an interview last year, former president Josep Mara Bartoma tried to buy the Portuguese in 2020. Although financial difficulties haven't previously deterred the Blagrana, Laporta and Matu Alamani, the director of football, would find it challenging to sign Joao. Despite Laporta's close relationship with Jorge Mendes, Joao's agent, Atletico will need at least 55 million euros to make the trade permanent. That sum is equal to the amount Atleti still owes for acquiring Joao from Benfica in 2019, the reason he originally agreed to a seven-year contract. These statements from Joao Felix are unjustifiable and exhibit a revolting amount of disdain towards Atletico. Less commentary on them is preferable. The club, its manager, its 126 million euro striker, and his agent Mendes all want the same thing to happen, but no other club has stepped up to financially or athletically attract Atletico. Joao is undoubtedly attempting to speed up the process with these venomous and impolite comments, but while he may be eager to move to his dream club, that organization is having yet more trouble assuring that its new recruits will be allowed to participate when the season begins next month. It's one thing to deceitfully complete this move through Jesty Fute, it's quite another to argue with La Liga about its player registration policies. Folks, more drama and ambiguity are still to come. What is certain, though, is that Joao simply destroyed any remaining bridges with Simeone and the club.